Well, Sarah, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you're connected with Bamboo Bridge? Sure. My name is Sarah Whitney, and I'm the director of Bamboo Bridge, and we're a nonprofit 501c3 organization that provides housing and safe, secure place for young adults, both male and female. Um, they have to be 18 years of age. Um, and our brochures and things say 21. We play with that some depending on what the need is that comes to us. Mm -hmm. How did Bamboo Bridge get its start? Um, some friends and I were working with the juvenile drug court team and we week after week saw these chil children and young adults that were trying to finish high school. Um, we're just didn't really have some place to be. They were going from friend's house to friend's house, couch to couch, and they needed some stability and some structure and somebody to help them get through the next phase of their lives. Mm -hmm. What is the heart behind Bamboo Bridge? Um, we want to love people and just meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. um, I laugh and tell them they have to meet me halfway. Yes. Um, so... We show them the unconditional love that they've oftentimes never received. A lot of our young adults come from very traumatic backgrounds, so they've never had love that didn't come with a price mm -hmm. or something they had to do in return. Mm -hmm. And I love how you're just diligent in planting those seeds, right? Like yes. that's our responsibility is to show people God's love and to just plant those seeds and I love that. So and that's where our bamboo name came mm -hmm. from because mm -hmm. it takes a long time to grow bamboo, but once it start you it does start to grow, its roots are very deep mm -hmm. and everybody that's here plants seeds from our volunteers to um, our mentors, you know, everyone that that connects with a, a client that's here mm -hmm. is planting some sort of seed. Mm -hmm. What is some things that you do here? Okay. Typically? So we provide um, just some stability, what most people look at as normal. Mm -hmm. A lot of our folks have never had help with. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to the doctor, um, getting a driver's license, finishing high school. We've had several residents that have finished high school from here. Um, obtaining a GED. Mm -hmm. One of our current residents just obtained her GED. We're so proud yeah, of her. That's awesome. Um, it, whatever their desire is, whether it's college, workforce, um, we try to help them achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. And the, the ultimate goal is to for them to be thriving members of society mm -hmm. in this community mm -hmm. and for them to be able to have a place of their own. So that's what we're always yeah. working toward is getting them moved into an apartment of their or a house of their mm -hmm. own. Maybe what are some challenges or struggle struggles or just challenges that you guys might face? Our clients face challenges that sometimes we don't think about. Mm -hmm. um, they may have medical issues that they've never really dealt with. Mm -hmm. um, so we spend a lot of time getting those kinds of things, um, insurances and benefits and, mm -hmm. you know, working through those types of things. Challenges as far as bamboo itself, we are solely donation run at this point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we always have that fear of running out of money and not being able mm -hmm. to help. But, you know, honestly, in the last three years, God has provided mm -hmm. over and over and over in big ways. And we laugh that, you know, he doesn't just open a window like we're running through yeah. doors and and then going, OK, now what do we do? <laughs> yeah. And you also have kind of a kind of like a store, right, that you kind of we do are particular about what you have, but can help them like with bedding and things like that. We do. OK, we take um, gently used furniture, bedding, um, house, household items. Mm -hmm you know, glasses, dishes, things that you would need when you're moving out on your own mm -hmm. and setting, you know, getting an apartment or right. that way they don't have to go and buy mm -hmm. and they can kind of shop down there. Mm -hmm. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for sitting down and sharing your heart and just talking to me. Um, at River Ridge, we actually have this thing called the Dollar Club where once a month we ask everyone to throw in an extra dollar and we try to find somewhere in the community that we can come alongside and be a blessing and so this month, actually, oh, we would love to help Bamboo Bridge. So you. I actually, 
Actually, I have a check for you today oh, for four thousand. Oh my gosh! One hundred and twenty-three dollars. <laughs> thank you so much. To help further the oh, work that you. That's fantastic. Here. It's going directly to the store. Yes, awesome. absolutely. Awesome. We we need to. That's the one part of the house that we need to finish. So yes, thank you so much. Can I hug you? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. You did great. <laughs>